So <clears throat> we're almost nearing the end of the deployment in the final stages of, of this bot process. Um, what's left essentially now is to package up our bot files and deploy that into the Azure service. Um, it's important that when we zip up um, this file directory that um, these files are at the root of uh, the zip. Um, so essentially what um, I'm saying is when we go to compress this, um, it needs to be in a way that when we open up the zip, all of the files are presented to us there, not within another folder. If we open up the zip file and then we have to open up a folder within that zip to view the files, the deployment will not work, unfortunately. So um, that's why I'm using um, 7z. Um, it is uh, It offers a nice interface for packaging up files. However you want to do this is up to you. Um, so I will simply select um, all of the files um, and then right click 7-zip and then add to pythonbotpai.zip. So that's the zip file right here. So if I go into it, all of my files are here. It's not within another folder. So this, this should work, this should be okay. Um, so now that that is all compressed, we will copy the command that we need to deploy this to the service. So that's also on the page that um, um, is attached to this recording. I will um, paste the command to publish the bot to Azure and we'll edit as required. Um, actually, before I do that, I need to change into the appropriate directory. So I'm just going to delete this um, and I'm going to cd back um, and then back once more just so I'm in the directory of this zip file just to confirm you can type in dir if you are using windows um, and that should list the directory and yep that is the zip that I want right there so I will copy that command again um, resource group name we can get from uh, here. And then the name of the app service, that would just be this. So note that this is the app service and not the app service plan. So the name of the app service and the project zip path that would just be the local name of that zip file which is uh, python bot pii dot zip and then press enter this should take around three to four minutes on average okay <clears throat> and that looks like it has uh, completed and just to make sure uh, this flag complete should be true and that's our deployment finished. Um, so now I had a test. Um, fingers crossed that this works. Um, we can refresh this page. And then we can go into the Azure bot. Now, hopefully if everything works and um, everything went smoothly, we should be able to click test in web chat and test the bot um, via this function.